You're watching Thailand News Today, bringing you the latest top stories in Thailand and beyond. I'm Natty, and I'm filling in for Jet Gunther. In today's news, all COVID-19 screening measures to be dropped for fully vaccinated domestic visitors. Thailand's diesel price to be 32 baht per liter starting May. And a former Muay Thai boxer turned actor turned comedian has now found his true calling and now is a politician. All that and more coming up in today's program. Could you please take a moment to click the like and subscribe button? It helps us way more than you know. Starting today's report with some good news for domestic travelers. The governor of Phuket, Narong Wun Siu, says all COVID-19 screening measures will be dropped for fully vaccinated visitors coming to the southern island. His announcement refers to domestic travelers. The announcement came on the back of the infection rate dropping to 98 cases a day. In addition, Narong says 70% of the island's residents have now a booster dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and healthcare facilities on the island are well equipped to deal with any additional cases. The island is planning to drop its screening measures for vaccinated domestic visitors from this Sunday onwards. The decision was made at a meeting of the island's provincial health officials, which was also attended by the deputy governor, Pichet Shet Banapong, a number of state agencies and representatives from the private sector. In order to help boost domestic tourism on the island, it was agreed to lift screening measures for all fully vaccinated visitors arriving by land and sea from May 1st. It comes as the CCSA approved a proposal to drop PCR testing on arrival for vaccinated international arrivals by air from the same date. However, unvaccinated tourists will still need to take a PCR test. There is also speculation that the much maligned Thailand Pass could be a thing of the past from June 1st if the COVID situation continues to stabilize and the CCSA votes in favor of the proposal from the Tourism and Sports Minister. Pichet says Phuket will also allow restaurants to serve alcohol until midnight instead of the former cutoff of 11 p.m. after the CCSA approved the move. With entertainment venues still not allowed to reopen, Pichet says that any such businesses that wish to operate as restaurants must first undergo an assessment by Phuket's Provincial Communicable Disease Committee. Still in Phuket, even though Phuket officials banned electric scooters from all public roads in February, they have now approved their use for security operations around Phuket Provincial Hall complex. Yesterday, officials announced at Provincial Hall that they have approved the use of electric scooters as a test phase to determine how safe they are. Representatives from B Mobility Team Company Limited handed two electric scooters to the head of the Phuket Provincial Office. The scooters will be at Provincial Hall for 10 months. Electric scooters were originally banned in the island province in February when four tourists in Patong were charged with using unregistered and untaxed vehicles after they drove electric scooters near a beach resort. People caught riding electric scooters on public roads can be fined up to 10,000 baht. Since scooters are not recognized as vehicles by the Department of Land Transport, people caught riding them can also be charged with operating a vehicle without a valid license. Get ready to say goodbye to Thailand's 30 baht per liter price cap on diesel May 1st. Starting on Sunday, the price will be at 32 baht per liter, according to the Oil Fuel Fund office. Thailand's permanent secretary for energy said the current 11 baht subsidy per liter is falling to 9.6 baht per liter. Officials from Thailand's energy ministry have warned for the past week that the price is set to surge in May. PM Prayut Tanosha said the fuel oil fund, which has been helping keep the price down, is now hugely depleted. On Tuesday, Thailand's energy minister said the retail price is now at 40 baht per liter, although he stressed that the government will try to raise the price slowly. Now Prayut calls on the public to have sympathy for the government, insisting that the government has limited control over prices. But Thailand's truck drivers are angry, and a group of them rallied in front of Government House in Bangkok yesterday to insist the government to keep the 30 baht per liter cap on.
They called for the energy minister Supatana Pong Panmi Chao to be removed. Good morning, Thailand gets up to 80,000 viewers per week, and we'd like to weaponize our audience for you. That's right. So if you have a business or a property or even your house that you'd like to sell. Private yacht? Yeah, it could, we could be in space. I'm not sure about space. Well, all you have to do is contact us on info at the tiger.com and you can hire us up to a day or even a week and we'll go to your property and do the show live. Good morning, Thailand. Coming your way. A big name in Thailand's boxing scene has now joined Thailand's Palang Prasharat party and will represent the next election in constituency 10 of the Konkyan province. The boxer, 49-year-old Somrak Kam Singh, won a gold medal in the U.S. in 1996. After he retired from boxing, he became an actor. He then moved into politics. The Palang Prasharat party heads up the tenuous coalition of conservative parties which formed government following the March 2019 general election. The PPRP has not set a target of how many seats it expects to win in Thailand's north, but hopes to be successful in this region. In Thailand's northeast, where Somrak is running, it's expected there will be heated competition between the PPRP and Thailand's Phue Thai Party. Phue Thai is one of the country's opposition party. PPRP Deputy Party Leader Chai Wood Thana Kamanuson says he believes PPRP's policy will win the support of people in the Northeast and other regions. Thailand's Northeast has generally supported progressive parties and was the region that provided so many votes for the Thaksin and Ying Lakshinawat governments in the past. Somrak grew up in Konkan and started training in Muay Thai when he was just seven years old. After fighting about 300 matches, Somrak has reportedly only ever lost 12. Somrak was a sports ambassador for the 2013 World Combat Games. Two Shonburi locals in Gotjan district were in a shock when hunting down a monitor lizard yesterday. The locals noticed that their two ducks were missing, and they thought a monitor lizard they saw days ago had eaten them. The local search for the monitor lizard in a lagoon went out of nowhere. A crocodile snapped one local on the leg and the other on their hand. The locals emerged from the water and saw the small female crocodile. They then used water pumps to decrease the level of water in the lagoon and catch the fierce croc. The croc, a female, was about 2 years old, about 1.4 meters long and weighed 10 kilograms. Another group of Chonburi locals were horrified to find a crocodile roaming through their kitchen in Sirasha district earlier this month. The owners called rescue workers, who took about 10 minutes to catch the crocodile with their bare hands. Authorities then took the crocodile to the rescue foundation before being given to the Sirasha fisheries office. The house owners said they had no idea where the crocodile came from and that they've never heard of crocodiles dwelling in the local area. Yet another up-close encounter with wildlife happened in Chonburi last month when a farmer in Banbung district said he walked in on a huge python in his chicken coop. The farmer said one of his chickens had been missing and he assumed the python ate it. And that's all for today's report from Thailand News Today. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, you're up to date on the tiger. Have a great day ahead. Sawadee ka.